My name is Angelina, the angel. And Mrs. Fox wanted me to tell you guys good morning and that she loves you. But I'm doing chapel for her today. I'm an angel, and I came from heaven to tell you a wonderful story. But before we start, Mrs. Fox said you always pray. So why don't we pray right now? Dear God, thank you so much for this day. And thank you that I get to come and talk to these precious children and tell them the true story of Christmas. And all that was going on getting ready for Christmas. Oh God, you're so good to us. Thank you for Jesus. It's in his name we pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, I can tell y'all are going to be good listeners this morning. Way to go. Well, many thousands of years ago, a long time ago, something very exciting was happening in heaven. And y'all know the story of what happened on earth, but guess what the excitement was in heaven? It was all about getting ready for Jesus to come to earth and be born as a tiny baby. Now, when all of us angels heard about that, at first, we thought that was a little kind of crazy because we only knew Jesus as the king. He was the king sitting on the throne on the right hand of God. And he was the, is the creator of the whole universe. He made you. He made the angels. He made everything. He is the boss. And when God told all of the angels that he was going to send Jesus as a tiny baby to be born in a stable, we just thought, wow, that's a little unusual. But then we remembered something very important. And I want you to remember this too, that God never makes a mistake. And so when that was his plan, then we said, okay, God, we're with you. What can we do to help? And that's how God wants all of us to respond. When we know what God is saying, then we need to be Okay, God, what can we do to help? Because we angels, we really like to help, and especially when it's God's plan. And so he said, well, this is how it's going to happen. There's this young teenage girl, and I've chosen her to be the mommy of Jesus. And again, we said, I have just a young teenager. And he said, yes, because she loves me so much. And so this is what happened. My really good friend, his name is Gabriel. Can y'all say that? Gabriel. He's amazing. He's one of the most important angels. He's taller than this ceiling. And his wings could touch that wall and that wall. He's so cool, and he lights up when he talks about God. He loves God so much, and God said, I've chosen Gabriel to be the one to go and tell Mary that she is going to be the mother of my son, and so Gabriel flew to earth, and he appeared in front of Mary. And at first, she was a little afraid. And do you 
show you this. Mary was so sweet, she didn't even mind that God had already chosen Jesus' name. Have you ever gotten a puppy or a kitty or a hamster and you wanted to name it? Did you think and think and think and talk about different names? It's kind of fun to choose the name. Well, when a mommy has a baby, she and the daddy, they think and think and think. What do we want to name this child? Yeah, and they're, they're trying to decide what to name. Name it. And, but Mary didn't even mind that God already chose the name of his son. Do y'all know what name that God chose? Jesus. That's right. They, he chose the name Jesus. And do you know why? The name Jesus means God saves. Can y'all say that? God saves. That's what Jesus means. And so, as soon as he told her that, Gabriel disappeared. And then Mary and Joseph went to Bethlehem. And you probably know they couldn't find a place to stay. And so baby Jesus was born in a stable and laid in a manger. That's where cows eat their head. Isn't that amazing? This story, how God figured this out, it's really interesting. But later in the night, there were some shepherds out guarding their sheep. And this is so exciting. I love this part. Another one of my good friends came and just appeared in the night sky. And it lit up just as bright as this room. And the, and, and the shepherds were so afraid because they hadn't seen the angel before. So what did the angel say? Don't be afraid. And then the angel said, I have good news for you. Today in the city of David, a savior for the whole world has been born. And you can go and find him. He's wrapped in cloth and he's lying in a little manger. And then Oh, y'all, I can hardly stand it. This is so exciting. It was the most exciting thing that ever happened to me in my whole entire life. I got to be in the great company of the host of angels that flew down from heaven. And then, oh, it's so amazing. I just have to tell it to you out of the Bible. You know that the Bible is God's special book just for us. And this is his word that he wants you to know. And we got to sing to those shepherds. And they were amazed because the whole sky lit up. The whole sky, it was like bright daylight because we can really shine. And it was beautiful. There were thousands and thousands and thousands of us. And we practiced, let me tell you. It was gorgeous. Now, I'm not the best singer among all the angels, but with all the other angels, I sounded pretty good. And this is what we sounded like, sort of. was 
beautiful song. We went back up to heaven, and the shepherds said, let's go see him. So they ran to see Jesus, and then they said, let's go tell everybody this great news that Jesus Christ has been born. So now y'all can stand up with me, because there's a beautiful Thank you. 